grab your copy of the star page 12 and 13 oh yeah it actually starts the story on Vita MP Abdul Swamad Sharif who shed 40 kgs and is looking so good there's a picture of him before and after Nireke Gwere the transformation is incredible please give Makayamba yes Vita MP Abdul Swamad Sharif congratulations Ah, and he's looking good in his suit. Yeah. Now, on page 13 of the Star, they then chronicle the weighty problems facing Kenya mm -hmm. and the contributing factors. But here are the statistics. And I think we need to talk about this because we can't ignore it. 50% mm. of women in Central yes. are overweight. 50%. Yeah. 30 to 40% of women in Nyanza are overweight. Actually, in the Rift Valley, Northeastern and Western, they say they are on average underweight women. Eastern, not Aiko. Eastern, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I want us to talk to the girls this morning. 50% of women in Central are overweight, 30 to 40% of women in Nyanza are overweight. You know, I was wondering if banner could bypass. Yeah, we lose weight something. Have you seen that banner? No. Lose weight something. There is a banner in a kwa me dunga dunga. That's a. But you know, kuna miaka inafika unasema haivuru. No, but that should never be the case. Join PSEA, mutara tara dunia ina kupeleka vile ita kupeleka. You know, some areas you go and women are jogging from four in the morning. Yes. Yes. But those are them. So, ladies, what are we eating? What aren't you doing right? Because these are dangerous. These are crazy statistics. Dr. That weight loss is 95% diet, 5% exercise. Why aren't more and more of our women enrolling in gyms? Why aren't they going out for evening or morning runs? Why aren't we watching what we eat? Can we agree uko maali watu unasema wakona overweight Western, Nyanza na Central chakula iko Mingi sana Mingi tu sababu unaona ule mama wakusav Pale kwa arusi Ule anakuwaka na mukono ina mazo Hiyo <laughs> <laughs> si mazo Anasimamaka hapo iko nyama Haizi simama maali iko mukimo eh? Kama muko blessed like that one It's okay but that's not been blessed mm -hmm. and ladies isn't that irresponsible are you having a problem with your weight is there something like you are born like that, is that no structure? no yeah? no because kuona mama mekonda central also is a problem eh? <laughs> <laughs> they are being blessed <laughs> just eat right that's it eat right you've got children you're raising they need you so food ladies, food. Uh, do you have a problem with your weight? What are you trying to do about it? Me, this mambo ya weight. If you are comfortable with your weight, that's okay. I agree. Yes. But there's an, a medical issue here. You know, my instructor says one thing, and I'm going to repeat it. He says, all of us, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, you're going to have to spend money on your health. Now you choose. Is it the gym or is it the hospital? No, 50% is a very big percentage. It is. It's half. Half the women in Central are overweight. 30 to 40% of women in Nyanza are overweight. Uh, uh, Why? Our uh, Nyanza are overweight, Mali Moja. At the end, I will see you. I will see you. Mali Moja. So what is the problem, girls? Why don't you give me a call on 0711 mm. If you want to contribute via SMS, I'd love to hear from you. My short code is 22494. Or hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or my Twitter handles at It's Mina Kegeni or at Classic 105 Kenya. My hashtag is Mina N Kengangi. What is the problem? You know how difficult to tell someone now. And guys, do you tell your women they're big? Ha! <laughs> That's how the world will come to an end. You know your wife is big. Do you ever tell her? How? Anikalia kama yokozuna ni ni finyili apa ni finyang ni finyang. Mitambia watu ni ni. 
She'll yeah. be kaliaring you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, do you tell you men they're big? By the way, it's a sign of progress if your wife is doing very big. Very big. When you are Kosawa. And ladies, what's the problem? Do they see a problem, first of all? Do, do you see a problem? Yeah. Why don't you give me a call on 0711 0461050? 50% half of all women in central province are overweight. 30 to 40% of all women in Nyanza are overweight. What is not happening here? Ladies, do you see that being a problem, guys? Do you tell your woman and she's getting a bit too big? And how do you say it? The crazy statistics on there. 50 percent that's half of all women in central are overweight 30 to 40 percent of all women in nyanza are overweight it's 2019 why aren't we watching our weight they're saying they like it big once you got big you ain't going back even the omni man you don't see it like a problem it's not a problem come on to our ski i just kick you on a problem Hey, Engineer Judy K, good morning. Let me just go to your tweet saying, problem we're having nowadays is ladies don't want to have pumpkin, arrowroot, sweet potatoes, cassava, and African foods. They want to have bread, sausage, bacon, bronze, eggs, trending very dangerously. Ladies, please eat healthy. Douglas Kipler like got you saying there's a big problem if that the statistics, then ladies, you've got to work on it. If there's something that men hate and they will not tell you is when you're huge. Girls, watch your waist. And guys, I want to know, do you tell your women they're big? Seriously. Regina Siombo, good morning, saying 50%, that's a big number. I've never thought of going beyond 60 where I work with served junk food. I want to hear from you. Shikariki is saying, most women add weight after giving birth, and I've seen some getting depressed because of that. Be the partner that she needs and help her shed some kilos. And that's a journey you need to undertake. Akode's had five. How does she make it? How does she manage? She works out religiously. If you don't put the work in, you're not going to get any result. Our five new work. Yes. Hey. Athman Melio saying African men like plus size women. Yes. Sis India to entertain weight. Chef Ryan Ching is saying, but some of us men are very comfortable with these fat women. Hey. Are we aware that this is a problem? That's my worry. Hello. Good morning, Maina. Morning, darling. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Hello, my name is Alimu. Hi, Miss Alimeka. Hi, I just was in my 50%. Yes, yes. Hey, those people are not serious. I think I'm a cool of the Azi Sana. You're new, Aru. You're new, Aru. Okay. Hey, I've, mine, I've never thought of going beyond 60 kg. Never. I've never thought of that. Like, okay, where I work, I work in Brayside School and there. Yeah, you work in? You have Brayside School. Brayside. Yeah, Brayside. It's up on Lovington. Yes. And we are served like junk daily. So when I started there, I think I was, I was, uh, nearly under Niki was 54. Yeah. Hey, ni kaongeza, ni kaongeza, it's after 62. Huh? Yeah. Like we are served with cheese, chicken, pizza, I don't know, burgers, like every day. He on your lunch, yeah, your watoto wa breastside. Hey. Pizza. You know how much they pay? Pizza, <laughs> chips, and hamburgers. Hey, watch out. And even the staff. So that's what you guys eat every day at breastside? Yeah. Pizza. Yes. Hey. Aki maina, mpaka ni kadisa itai I have my own, I carry my own past lunch. Or even kama na juwa ni sikuya chips, sita kula na kuku. I'll just move to the nearby market and then have my lunch. Wow. Aki, but if you see those kids, I think just one day come and have a look for yourself. Those kids are really, hata wengine sijui, we utu mtoto wako ya one. Eh. Than your best already at year one year one and let me ask you don't the parents complain they don't provided the kid is satisfied with it and they've paid a lot of money for the lunch <laughs> 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 
pizza maina pizza mwalimu wah iko okay akadondo eni eh ni tunakula pizza hamburger like ice cream Amba. yogurt i found the leo ni ice cream na yogurt ice cream jule <laughs> ice cream after lunch sasa mwalimu ah mm. kwanza nze munasikia Eh? Wow, that is. <laughs> I was eating very lunch and supper. Ah, ki the only difference with chenga. Oh, chenga is a mix of uh, muchele <laughs> na. <laughs> hey, but for now, I no 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 no. I don't take their lunch only on Mondays because they serve rice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, guy. Where Brisside? Watoto wanakula pizza. Yes, na hamburgers, na chips, na ice cream, lunch. Wewe unajua ile kizeri iko shule za ukambani iko na wivu na mafuta ta on top. Na mara hapo yeah, yeah, yeah. unaiona huko. Uwezi naona, uwezi naona huko. Uwezi naona. What? Yeah. Hamburger, lunch. Hamburger, hamburger nile paka McDonald's. Yes. Ah, yao. Oh, okay girls, where are you? I need to hear from you. Let's talk. Hi, pizza. It's incredible because I think we now just need to take control of our health. Half, 50% of all women in Central are overweight. 30 to 40% of all women in Nyanza are overweight. Urban women are suffering the most because of the eating habits. What's the problem? Because there's evidently a problem. Incredible. Shiko Tyras Kante, good morning. You're saying the statistics are quite sad. I know a workmate who's overweight and just can't stop eating. I really don't understand how one cannot control their food portions. Sarah Mudhoni is saying ladies shouldn't complain about, shouldn't complain about the weight since they eat carelessly, knowing they will add weight. Eating here, they're saying I was 65, I'm now 72. I'm so worried about my eating habits. They made me add weight, but I'm working out. Nothing irritates me like adding weight. Ladies should watch what we are eating. Incredible. Carol Kumo, I'm looking for your tweet because I'd seen it earlier. And I will get to it. Mariah T. You say, did you know Central Province also has the highest number of diabetics? Weight is a serious issue in a Central Province. Carol Kong, you said, for some of us, it's a, it's a song to lose weight, but it's slow and a gradual move. But it, oh, it's always a wake up call daily, and diets are observed. And even, uh, even in the evening, you eat fruit, which is a balanced diet for the day, and call it a day. But also, gyms need to advertise, and especially their locality. Can you imagine Jimmy Komoshala? <laughs> there, there are gyms there. In Moshala? Yeah. And Wagige? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Maina. Good morning. Morning. I'm going to go to Central Kabisa. Yeah. Your ship is your identity. What? Your ship is your identity. Sweetheart. Eh tuliumbwa hivyo sisi. Sasa hata ujaribu kwenda gym, ujaribu kwenda kuishi turukana, hiyo shape inatokanga hivyo automatically. Wapi? Hmm? Umetoka wapi? Mimi na nashindwa unapata uko na hapa weight mingi kuliko huku chini eh? Eh. Na si kupenda kwetu. Kwanza juzi nilienda kwa Taylor. Mimi sitawaishonesha nguo. Kwa nini? Anaku, anakupima waist, waist inatoka 40. Akikupima hip inatoka 25. <laughs> eh? <laughs> anakataa kukushonea ati ataki kuharibu biashara yake. Ni <laughs> ni always buy mitumba and the rest. Mimi nikushonesha nguo never ever. So how heavy are you? Hai, mine nikikuonyesha matress yangu imeisha pande ya juu. <laughs> huh? I don't under, we don't understand. Hata usipo kula nini? Eh. Huh? Na acha ah tuambia by the way sijui ni nini mbaya na cabbage? Viazi? na mchele sasa <laughs> hizo ni carbohydrates lakini kwetu hiyo ni balanced diet so so your top heavy kabisa huko juu kuko na more weight than huko chini na kaka kajoni bravo ka mama na unasema hiyo ndio character shape ya watu wa central 
utajulika na aje vingine eh? ati west ni 40 west ni 40 hips 25 <laughs> eh? <laughs> ukiteremuka <laughs> ukiteremuka hivo unawana ki mutu kimekania so, meza ki huge akisi mama hai tumacho tunenda tukifinyika ati matres imeishe huko juu <laughs> <laughs> na kuambia ukiwana mutu wamekania meza hivi Oh Uyo mtu ni mihuji, akisi mama Hai <laughs> Na hiyo ndiyo signature shape ya wadawake wa central Hiyo ni signature shape ya, ya, ya central Shape ya central Haya, thank Jiki you Jiki tumejikubali, tuliumbu wa hivo Na tuko sawa Asante Eh, karibu sana <laughs> Nia maundu mwara ya jiku uwa Gai What is all this Haya Okay, how much of a problem is this? Statistics are just incredible. Never imagined they could see statistics where 50% half of all women in central province are obese. 30 to 40% of those in Nyanza are overweight. What's not going on? As a lady who called in earlier and said that that's a signature shape. Thank <laughs> you. Wangui Wambesha, good morning. Let me just go to your tweets in. My dad should listen to this. How people are struggling to lose weight and stop complaining how skinny I am and appreciate how I've maintained my body. That's what I call body goals. Clinton Daniel saying, ladies, men are visual creatures. Your body weight matters to the man who chose to be with you. Can you please maintain that? Red Boy is saying women should just watch their weight. Please play the audio of that last caller again. I will in the next hour, I promise you, because she just made my day. And yes, pretty, I will replay that caller as well. Captain Carly is saying men are let women add weight. Heavyweight women are also very sweet. Shira Baini was saying, apart from the gym, what should I do for my wife to reduce weight? Well, first of all, she's got to eat right, but she's got to engage in some physical activity. And join her, Shira, because it's a process and she needs a lot of moral support. So if it's walking in the evening, walk with her. If it's just working out in the house, and by the way, your house is a functional gym. You can use chairs, you can use anything. Work with her. You can go to some online programs and get, get programs for your, for your home workouts. So yes, it's possible, Shira. Blaze, Hala, you're saying everyone at birth was given a shapeless mass, a bag of tools and a book of rules. You don't come out of the womb with a body that you want for or that which you have right now. You choose it. They even give you a number for personal training. Look for Blaze Hala on Twitter. Blaze Hala. And give him a call. Is it just me who's worrying about this, or is it a genuine problem? Hello. Hello, Maina. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you too. Can you? Yes. Yeah, how are you doing? Zuri sana. Yeah, oh, okay, my name is David. I'm a nurse from Yamira. Yes. You know, these women, mm. they... The normal BMI, battle metabolic rate, is between 18.5 to 24.9. Yeah. But some of these women have, are going up to over 40. Yeah. But they are not looking at their diet still. They are not you watching. Know, there, there are women who, who say they cannot eat food without meat. Yeah. They must have meat in the, in the diet. They, they are consuming calories and they are not doing any act activities. All they do is sit in the office the whole day. Then when you tell them, they are saying it's their identity. There is not nothing like identity. Wow. Yeah. So the BMI should be what? 18.5 to at least 24.9 there. And what are you seeing on average? Some of them mm. are coming to over 40. Over 40. Wow. A muscle metabolic rate of over 40. Wow, that's a problem. It's so serious, and they are, they are. You you see these women running around here, starting from 10 p.m. in Thika Road. Yeah. Mo most of them have been diagnosed with. 90 percent have already been diagnosed with diabetes and other conditions like hypertension. The the others who have not yet been diagnosed are still eating and eating and eating and nothing. They are doing and nothing. Okay. No exercises. Okay. Hey. Peter.
Dr. Ayame is saying red meat and beer is a major contributing factor in being obese. Stay away from those two and work out. Absolutely. <laughs> Red Bull saying Huda Monroe should tutor our ladies. She has set standards so high they come as a Oleguna Solskjaer. <laughs> really? Asman Melio saying the best way to invite high blood pressure and heart attacks, then Kesha to Naitu of fundraising your hospital bill in the Lea Kunona. Wow. wow. Monique King is saying portion control is very important. As much as we exercise, we should watch how and what we eat as well. Extremely important. Beatrice Mind is saying, I'm now appreciating my weight that according to African na nature, it isn't it, it, it ain't suitable for a mom of two. Okay, darling, Beatrice, I hope you're working on your weight and please maintain your weight. Because those things are so important. You've got kids you're raising. They need you. Let's go to some more messages here. Mina, he's the daughter of family planning, especially Depo Provera and the three months injection. She did kuhapo. Mtu unona mikono tumbo na kila maali. Wanjira washush. Thank you so much. Jason Gitao, you're saying these ladies of ours in Central, kazi yao ni kama ile ya kupe. Kunyanya nyonya mwana ume ayadaya naisha. If you happen to compare the man and the wife when they mingled at the first time, you'll see a big difference. Such that the man has decreased and the lady has increased. Karonge, in thicker, you're saying, Nyama ni toguta, a nice piece of meat must have some fat. Who wants a thin, malnourished woman? On a serious note to the distribution of those overweight, I think they're concentrated in urban areas. In rural areas, work cannot allow any fat deposition. Gotta eat right. 